As you recall in the previous training video, the BitLocker feature is only available in the Windows 7 Ultimate operating system. And now not only can you encrypt your main hard drive, which was available in Windows Vista, but new to Windows 7 is that you can encrypt external devices or drives like USB flash drives or any external drive. And you should know that encrypting a drive takes about two to three minutes per gigabyte. So it may take a while if you're going to encrypt, let's say, 50 gigabytes of information. Now the nice thing about encrypting the USB flash drives or any external hard drive is that if somebody steals it, you got that layer of protection, the encryption, that unless they have the password or smart card, which I'll go over in just a second here, they won't be able to access the information on that drive. Or at least it's going to make it difficult to get through that layer to be able to access and decrypt what we just encrypted using BitLocker. So to encrypt my USB flash drive, let me come up here and double click on the computer, open it up. There's my removable flash drive, double click. I got a couple of files here and I want to encrypt this. Well, how big is my flash drive? Let me go ahead and right click on it and go to properties here. And it's 122 megabytes. And the amount of information that I'll be encrypting is, well, less than a megabyte. So, so not going to take too long to encrypt. So to go ahead and encrypt this, all you have to do is right click on the drive here, go up and click on turn on BitLocker. Give it a second or two while it thinks about it. Now you have two choices to unlock this drive. You can do it by password or by smart card. And the smart card is just a little card that you insert into a machine and the smart card pin will be required for you to unlock the drive. So if your company has a smart card, then go ahead and check the box here. I'm going to go ahead and use the password option. Check it, go ahead and type in a password. You should know that the smart card won't allow you to unlock drives on computers running Windows Vista or Windows XP. And in addition, for it to run on Windows Vista or XP, the drive must be formatted as a file allocation table or FAT, not NTFS or new technology file system. So what I mean by that is let me go ahead and click cancel and not complete the setup here for encrypting this drive. But when you right click on your drive and you go to properties, does the file system say it's formatted as NTFS or FAT? If it's FAT, then I can go ahead and read the files that are going to be encrypted here on earlier versions of Windows Vista or XP. But if it's NTFS, then I can only access these files that are encrypted via password only on machines that are running the Windows 7 operating system. So if you need to, go ahead and right click on the drive here and go to format and then go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and choose FAT. There's the NTFS and then come down here, go ahead and click start. But when you do that, you're going to erase everything on your uh, removable drive here. So make sure you back it up or make a copy of it on your computer somewhere. So when you're done formatting, you can move it back onto it and then be able to go ahead and right click and turn on BitLocker. And now when you encrypt this, it'll be available on any computers running Windows Vista or XP. But they can only read the files. They can't make any changes to it. So that's the limitation with the earlier operating systems, okay? I'm going to go ahead and check this. Use password to unlock it. And the password should contain upper and lowercase letters, numbers, spaces, symbols, really try to make it difficult. Not so difficult that you can't remember it. I'm going to go ahead and just type in password and type it in again and then click next. And then you get two options. If you forget your password or lose your smart card, you can use the recovery key to access your drive. Do you want to go ahead and save the recovery key to your desktop here or print it? You can do both. You can go ahead and click save. And it says, okay, where do you want to save it? And there's the BitLocker recovery key. I go ahead and click desktop, save it, and then I can go ahead and click print, choose my printer, click print, prints it off, and when I'm finished, I can go ahead and click next, and then up here it gives you a reminder, it says you'll be able to unlock this drive using a password. Encryption might take a while depending upon the size of the drive, again I clocked it about two to three minutes per gigabyte, and then until encryption is complete, your files will not be protected, so click start encrypting, and you don't want to mess with this. You don't want to unplug the USB drive until it's done encrypting. Now it's going pretty fast, but it's I think under a megabyte, not even a megabyte. And then when it's finished, I'll go ahead and click close. And then the drive here is going to show a lock through it to let me know, in fact, you can see it down here a little bit better in the details pane, that this drive is password protected and encrypted. If I forget my password, if I double click and open up the uh, text file here, it's got my BitLocker recovery key. 
So I have to type in all these numbers if I forget my password to be able to have access to this USB flash drive. If I don't have the password and I don't have the recovery key, it's gone. Again, unless you can find some specialist that knows how to hack into these things. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and eject the drive. Safe to remove. So when I unplug it and I go ahead and plug it back in, it should ask for the password. Let's go ahead and test it. There it is, typing the password to unlock the drive, which is easy enough to do, right? You can check the box to show your password characters. Again, it was password or uncheck it so nobody else can see what you're typing in in case if somebody's looking over your shoulder. You can set it to automatically unlock on this computer from now on, so if anybody plugs it in, including a stranger, they can go ahead and have access to it. Did you forget the password? Click on it. You have the option to type the recovery key in, which, geez, let me double click to open it up. It's there. Let me go ahead and see if I can select it and right click to copy, close out, and right click to paste, and then click next. You now have temporary access to this drive. The drive is unlocked, but it'll lock again if you remove it or turn off your computer. And then it says, if we forgot the password, you should change the password or your unlocking method by clicking Manage BitLocker. So you can click on that. Remove password, change the password, save or print the recovery key again. I'm going to go ahead and click Close and click Finish. It opens up and I have access to everything here. And you can see that the drive is still encrypted with the password locked, but I have this session to access it. If I plug this drive into another computer that's running an earlier operating system like Windows Vista or XP, I could double click to open up the files, but all it would do is allow me to view them. I couldn't come in here and make changes like I could here on my Windows 7 operating system. I'm going to go ahead and close out and not save it. And then to turn off BitLocker, come down here and click on the Start button. You can type it in, BitLocker. Then come up and click on Manage BitLocker. And then of the list of drives available on the computer here and those connected externally, there's the one that's um, locked. Go ahead and click on Turn Off BitLocker. Decrypt the drive. And that may take some time here. When it's done, it says decryption is complete. And go ahead and close out. And you can see that my M drive is not locked anymore. So I can go ahead and treat it like a normal drive. It's not locked here either. You can right click to eject it plug it back in without a password, and then of course I don't need my old BitLocker recovery key. I can go ahead and delete that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.